Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your weekly reading. Gemini, this is for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. This is a general reading. It won't resonate with all of you, so please feel free to check your moon and rising signs if there's more information in those for you. And take what resonates from this reading, and please leave the rest. And just, you know, some words will stick out. Just just uh, pay attention to what feels right to you, right? Gemini, if you're new here, thank you so much for coming across me. I really appreciate it um, and giving me a listen. My name is Rudy. I appreciate, again, you, your energies. I appreciate you all being here. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your uh, likes and subscribes, for all your comments. I appreciate all your energies, um, everyone coming back. So thank you again. All right, Gemini, let us see what we have for you. Gemini. April 17th through the 23rd, please. April 17th through the 23rd. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. We have the Hierophant. All right. Leadership. Tower. Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have victory. We have the Six of Wands. It's a victory card. It's a card of, um, you know, going through something, getting through something, showing others that there's a way out, that there's a way through, um, having great victory. Knowing you didn't get here by yourself, there's others that helped you get to where you wanted to go. Whatever this victory is to you, whatever this winning is to you, um, but you are definitely... Um, you're definitely being exalted and being heralded and being uh, hailed and all the things um, for winning or doing something you wanted to do and, and getting through this. Six is a number of harmony and peace and success, and you definitely have that here. This also is interesting because you have another six underneath, and this is about moving out of an energy, moving away from really rough waters into calmer waters. Um, you can be taking your thoughts with you, but you're sorting them as you take them. You're not taking a burden with you. You're taking um, thoughts that you need to kind of sort through, really, and sit with and figure out. Uh, but you can't do the drama. You can't do that. You have to move into uh, an area where you feel better. You feel more relaxed. Um, I almost feel, and I have to say it right off the bat, I feel like this is a marriage that broke up or a, or a union that broke up. Something that's traditional. Um and I don't, the only reason I say that is because you're moving forward. You, you still have love to give somebody. You still have love to carry on out of this, um, whatever this is. The higher pants usually, it can be a marriage card. It can be a card of, uh, tradition. It can be a card of, um, you know, commitment, uh, making something official, um, just like making a divorce official, uh, having the keys, having the knowledge, seeking the knowledge, knowing knowing that there's um there's steps to take in in um in a route that you have to do in order to make something um the way you need it to be you know what i'm trying to say it's like if you need a divorce or you need a breakup you have there's steps you have to take to get to there but this it has to be done officially and that's kind of what i feel with the marriage i think it's a marriage honestly um, I just feel like you've done all you could do. I feel like this this went as far as it could go. There was no other place for this to grow. And it had to break down. It had to come tumbling down, basically. It wasn't... Um, it just wasn't going to work. It just wasn't going to work. You have uh, the Hierophant is a card of, let me think, uh, Taurus, I believe. And then the Tower is, I'm not good on my other cards. I know my main ones. I don't even know what number the Tower is. Oh, yeah. 16. Tower is a card of supposedly Scorpio. I don't know if I believe all that. But anyway, it says it is. Um but again, you've taken it as far as you can go and you're moving out of this. You're moving out of this. I feel like you're moving out of this, the bigger person. 
again, you're moving away from the drama. You're moving away from what, what is draining you. And you may be coming out of this financially better. Um, there is going to be hardships. There is going to be hurt. There's going to be a feeling of loss, obviously. But you're going to be able to start a new page. You're going to be able to move forward and, and move into a new energy. You know, turn the page and be able to start the slate clean. You just can't do the drama. You can't do the bickering. You can't do the yelling and screaming. You can't do the things. And you're moving into this energy of victory. It's almost like you're coming out of this going, I'm, I'm better than when I went into this relationship. I'm better than when I went into this partnership or, or whatever this is. It, I still feel like it's a, it's a, a love thing, like a union. Um, and you're going to be better off for it coming out of it. It just couldn't go on the way it was going on. I feel with the tower energy, you know, lightning hits the top. And it, you know, it, to me, it, it's a jolt in your mind. It's a jolt in you going, what are you doing? You know, you start the ball rolling. If you don't start the ball rolling, the universe will, you know, this had to happen. This will happen. It's, it's always a shock. It's always a jolt when it does, but it has to, um, it had to happen for you to be able to move forward for you to be able to feel this sense of victory and feel the sense of pride and feel the sense of it's almost like a relief a relief that you can now move forward and you can you can go in search of the love that you know is out there maybe because the knight of cups is all all about love he is the knight of romance and he's the knight of you know wearing his heart on his sleeve and he's the knight of um intuitiveness and happiness and all the all the things you know he's he's a sweetie i like the knight of cups he's very much sweet very much very very um endearing all right one more card for gemini all right this one came over so we'll take it this is movement that it's like i almost feel that um You know, especially with all this energy, because you have the movement coming in with the Six of um, Swords, too. Um, it's like, as long as you're going, you're going to be good. As long as you're moving forward. I feel like any anywhere you go, you carry your home with you. Look at that. It's like a, a windmill up there on that, their back. And that's a number 28 card, so 8 and 2 is 10, which is the number of completion. All right, let's see what the book says. It says movement is you are in a time of positive forward motion. And that's what I see with the Knight of Cups. This is a time for positive mo momentum as you come out of a period of restriction, right? You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, to change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. Right there. Um, you feel compelled to go forward no matter what your inquiry. You will see your dreams take form and doors previous, previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind, the fogless, and you know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. And it's really interesting because knights are all about taking action. You know, they, they're going to move out of this and move into what they want, what they, they're searching for. And same with the six. You're taking action. You're moving out of this energy, right? It's... It, the fog lifts and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let go and move forward. Beautiful. That's exactly what you're doing. You're letting go and moving forward. I can't make this up. These are two absolutely different decks. I cannot make it up. So that is what I'm seeing, Gemini, for this week. Um, and I just also see... You're very sure. You're very sure of yourself. You know, I almost feel like the horse is sure-footed, but you're sure-footed. You know where you're going. You know what you're doing. And you may not know-know it, but you know you're moving in a better direction is what I, I feel. 
you know you're moving in a better direction. Um, you're not keeping up something that is draining you. You're not keeping up something that is false or something that is not real to you. You're moving into into what you want out of life, what victories you want, and what love that you're seeking. All right? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <sighs> Gemini, let me know how this resonates. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Please stay safe and healthy. And by all means, be blessed. I will see you next week. Bye for now.